It's been a huge week for the Supreme Court, and we just got another major ruling this morning with the court deciding five to four to reject you-know-who's plan to end Obama's DACA program, which protects immigrants who came to this country uh, as children. Uh, Martha, how big a deal is this right now? I, I think this is a huge blow to President Trump. I mean, this is part of his campaign promises. Immigration is such a big deal to him. But, what, as you know, there's 700,000. This affects 700,000 people who came into this country as children, as babies, some of yeah. them, uh, who were allowed, uh, with President Obama, to work in this country and not fear deportation. I mean, some of these people, now young people, uh, don't even know the native language from where they came from. And once Trump uh, filed this, uh, there was great fear they would be deported. And for now, they can't. And one of the things the court said uh, about President Trump's action is they did not consider the impact on the recipients. So for now, they can safely stay here. Hmm. Now, Martha, on the heels of John Bolton saying he believes uh, President Trump is unfit for office, the Lincoln Project, a Republican super PAC partly run by George Conway, put out this ad yesterday, which calls into question Trump's well-being when it comes to handling the job. Take a look. Something's wrong with Donald Trump. He's shaky, weak, trouble speaking, trouble walking. So why aren't we talking about this? And why isn't the press covering Trump's secretive midnight run to Walter Reed Medical Center? We're not doctors, but we're not blind. It's time we talk about this. Trump is not well. Now, given how he has gone after Biden, saying he has quote, lost a uh, step mentally. And we saw how he attacked Hillary for not having the strength and stamina to be president. Is this kind of scrutiny fair game? Well, I, I, it, it's obviously sort of back at you, President Trump, for things he said about Joe Biden and, again, Hillary Clinton, who uh, he talked about all the time and her health. And they would run videos that somebody took that, that he said showed she was not healthy. So I, I, I think this really is a, is a back at you, and it will probably continue to be a campaign issue. Well, this is, this is amazing. Sonny, I, as I see Sonny has another question. Yes, yes. Um, as we mentioned, the Trump administration, yeah. uh, Martha, has been trying to stop the book's publication. My understanding is that last night the DOJ filed for a temporary restraining order to stop its release, saying what it contains, uh, that it contains classified information and that Bolton did not go through the proper clearance process. President Trump has even suggested that Bolton will face criminal liability for having written it. Could this lead to prosecution uh, for Bolton by the Department of Justice? And having spoken with him, does he seem at all worried about that? Uh, I, I don't think he does seem at all worried about this. I think he expected it. He'd already been through one process at the White House. And he was cleared. And he actually made some changes into the book, adding footnotes, taking away some quotation marks from foreign leaders. I, I have no idea whether he could be prosecuted. You'd probably be better on that, Sonny, than I am. Uh, but he, <laughs> it, he is definitely does not seem worried about that. And there are hundreds of thousands of books out there right now, probably ready to ship. So I don't know how they can possibly stop the release of this book. Obviously, he's already done an interview with us as well, and there are excerpts of the book that are leaking out. And by the way, as soon as the president started talking about this, the uh, book skyrocketed on the bestseller list. <laughs>